Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting adventure, Reading with Grandma. Today we're going to read a story called Zach's Alligator. This is a level two reading book with help, so your children in grade one or two could help, you could help them read this book with ease. This is by Shirley Moselle and the pictures are by James Watts. A big box came in the mail for Zach. It was from Zach's Uncle Jim in Florida. Zach shook the box. What could it be, he wondered. He untied the bow and ripped off the paper. There was another box inside. Zach lifted the lid. Inside was an alligator keychain with a note from Uncle Jim. It said, Dear Zach, here is a present for you. Have fun. Love your Uncle Jim. P.S. Water, Bridget. Zack held the keychain. This must be Bridget, he said. Zack put Bridget in the sink and turned on the faucet. Bridget began to move. Her head turned, her tail turned, curled. Bridget grew bigger and bigger. Soon she filled the whole sink. Zack moved Bridget to the tub and turned on the shower. Bridget stretched and sighed. That feels so good, she said. Zack watched. Bridget grew larger and larger. She grew out of the side of the tub and over the side. She was so big she could not fit. Bridget moaned and groaned and whipped her tail. She splashed water everywhere. What is going on in there? called Zack's mother. I am watering an alligator, said Zack. Alligator? What alligator? The one Uncle Jim said, Jack said. Zack said. He heard his mother laugh. I see. Well, clean up when you're done. I will, said Zack. I don't think Zack's mother believed that he had an alligator. Bridget crawled out of the tub and onto the floor. I am hungry, she said. Do you have any fish? I don't know, said Zack. Let's go see. Bridget followed Zack down the stairs and into the kitchen. Zack opened the refrigerator door. No fish? Bridget asked. No, said Zack. No fish. But here is some meatloaf. I can fix you a meatloaf special. What is that? asked Bridget. A surprise, said Zack. I love surprises, said Bridget. Bridget went into the living room and stretched out on the living room sofa. The sofa shook. Bridget looked at the TV. What, the, what a funny looking box, she said. Then she hollered to Zack, hurry up with that food. I am coming, said Zack. He was making his meatloaf special. Meatloaf, peanut butter, mustard, banana, and a couple of pickles. Zack, what are you doing? said his mother. I am fixing some meatloaf for Bridget. Who is Bridget? The alligator, said Zack. Oh, of course, said mother. Well, save some for dinner. I will, said Zack. Suddenly Bridget jumped up from the sofa. Time for a walk, she said. Bridget wobbled toward the door. Jack followed. Bridget's long tail knocked over a chair and some books off of a table. Zack picked up the, the chair and the books. We are going out, Mom, he called. We? she asked. Oh, yes, you and Bridget. I forgot. Well, don't be too long. Dad will be home soon. Outside, Bridget was wrestling with the garden hose. I will get you, she growled. She gave the hose a big bite. Water squirted everywhere. Zack ran to turn off the water. That snake will not bother anyone ever again, said Bridget. Zack just sighed and shook his head. Bridget took off down the sidewalk and Zack followed. Just then the mailman pulled up in his truck. What is that? cried Bridget. Before Zack could answer, Bridget attacked. She bit the tire of the truck. Air hissed out. 
Dogs are bad enough, shouted the mailman, but I cannot handle this. No, sir, not alligators. The mailman jumped into his truck and drove away with the flat tire. Clump, clump, clump. Bridget shook her head. I am glad we don't have those in the glades, she said. Zack tried to say something, but Bridget was off again. They came to the park. Bridget wanted to swing. After that, she climbed the monkey bars. Then she jumped on the seesaw. Zack had never seen anyone seesaw by themselves. Next, Bridget ran to the merry-go-round. Round and round she went. Bridget began to sing. Oh, I am a gator from the glades, and I can do anything, and I mean anything. Bridget got so dizzy, she fell off the merry-go-round. Zack helped Bridget up. Just then, his best friend, Turk, rode up on his bicycle. Hey, Zack, said Turk, where did you get that alligator? From my Uncle Jim, said Zack. Some uncle, Turk shouted. Suddenly, Bridget shouted, What's that, Fuzzy Wuzzy? The woman took one look at Bridget and picked up her dog. Come on, Poopsie, let Mama take you home. Bridget did a cartwheel. Who would want that Fuzzy Wuzzy anyway, she said. I am thirsty, not hungry. Bridget did a quick one-two and hop-skip to the fountain. She drank big gulps of water. Zack and Turk watched. Will you bring Bridget to school? Asked Turk. I don't know, said Zack. A policeman came over. You need a leash for that alligator, he said. There is a law, you know. Yes, sir, said Zack. Nobody seems to mind that he's got an alligator for a pet. The policeman frowned. Well, keep him under control. Him? cried Bridget. Well, I beg his pardon. How rude. Hasn't he ever seen a girl gator before? You should bring her to school, said Turk. Maybe, said Zack. Zack and Turk rode Bridget around the park. Suddenly, Bridget started to shrink. I need more water, she said. Zack and Turk helped her to the fountain. Bur Bridget slip slurped the cold water. This place is too dry, she said. In the glades, there is plenty of water and moss and tall grass. Where are the glades? asked Turk. The Everglades, said Zack. They are in Florida, where my Uncle Jim lives. Do you think he could send me an alligator, said Turk? I don't know, said Zack. I will ask him. That would be great, said Turk. We have to go now, said Zack. Don't forget to bring Bridget to school, yelled Turk. Oh, please, Bridget said to Zack. I want to see what school is like. We will see, said Zack. On the way home, Bridget was shrinking more and more. She looked up at Zack with big, shiny alligator's eyes. Will you water me again, she asked. I will water you every day, said Zack. Good, said Bridget. Bridget was getting smaller and smaller. She bobbed up her head, her head up and down and began singing. I am a gator from the glades, and I like to have fun every day. Oh, yeah. When they got home, Bridget was the keychain size. Zack put her safely into his pocket. Hello, said Zack's father. Your mother said you were out with the alligator. May I see it? Yes, sir, Zack said. Zack pulled the keychain with the small alligator hanging from it. That's very nice, said his father. Now go wash up for dinner. Zack went upstairs to his room. He could hear his mother tell his father that he would have chicken for dinner instead of meatloaf. Are you all right? whispered Zack. Never better, Bridget said. She yawned. Don't forget to water me tomorrow. I won't, said Zack. Zack put Bridget back into his pocket. Zack, called Mother. Dinner is ready. I'm coming, Zack called back. Zack felt Bridget move. He patted his pocket and smiled. And that's the end of our adventure. So we didn't even have to leave our home. We went all the way to Florida and to wherever Zack lives, where his uncle sent him. And he had used this quite his imagination, bringing Bridget to life and letting her go back into a keychain again. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you very much. 
and leave a comment below on what you thought of the story and what else you would like to hear me read to your children. Have a great, wonderful, adventurous day. Bye-bye now.